Both teenagers survived, but authorities say one victim is fighting for her life. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. I'm Jessica Dean. The two teens were hit last night on Street Road near Philmont Avenue in Trevos. Eyewitness News reporter Alicia Nieves is live at the scene with a description of the suspect and the pickup police are now looking for. Alicia. Mayuki and Jess, it was a two-tone but mostly maroon older style pickup truck that hit the two teens. Now police say the teens were simply on their way from their house over to Wawa trying to grab a quick snack and then on their way back home when they were struck. A hit and run last night in Trevos near Street Road and Philmont Avenue has police today searching for the driver of a maroon and tan or gray pickup truck. The driver is described as a black man in his 30s who may have been wearing a Knicks baseball cap, a dark shirt and dark pants. After striking two pedestrians, he drove um, away from the scene east on Street Road, either into Ben Salem or on the Tree Rose Road towards Philadelphia. Authorities say the man driving the two-toned, mostly maroon truck initially stopped at the intersection and moved the two teens he struck to the side of the road, but then he sped off. I would like to see the driver turn himself in, um, make amends. Kathy Clayton knows the teens who were hit, an 18-year-old male teen who is in stable condition tonight, but the 18-year-old female teen is in critical condition fighting for her life. Her mother called me from the hospital and told me that it was her. They're very concerned. They're asking for prayers, you know. Um, her mom said it's not good right now. Clayton hopes that the driver doesn't come forward, that someone comes forward who knows him or recognizes the two-toned maroon and gray or tan truck. It would have front end damage and missing a passenger rear view mirror. The truck also had a ladder rack with an attached ladder at the time of the crash. I pray that mm -hmm. somebody will come forth. I just hope that they do the right thing. And lower a Southampton Township police want to hear from anyone who has information on the driver or the truck. But in the meantime, they do have some new clues. They have been combing through surveillance video from Wawa and two nearby banks, hoping that that will, in fact, lead them to this hit and run driver. For now, reporting live in Bucks County, Alicia Nieves, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Keep us updated. Alicia, thank you.